Okay, this is a video for section 6.6 .6 of your textbook. It's the final chapter of your fraction operations. And what it basically is, it's combining order of operations with all of the different operations involved with fractions, both addition and subtraction, which you learned in grade 7, and multiplication and division, which you learned in grade 8. So when we do it, one of the most difficult things students have with bed mass is keeping their information organized. So the first question we're going to do is 7 times a half take away 2 divided by 3 fifths. So we have three operations. We have a multiplication. Nope. We have a multiplication. We have a subtraction. And we have a division. And when we talk about bed mass, bed mass, the first thing we want to do is realize that there are four steps. There's brackets. There's exponents. There's division multiplication. There's addition and subtraction. So in this particular question, the first thing I'm going to do is my division multiplication. But it does not mean division first, multiplication second. It means all of your division and multiplication in the order you read them from left to right. So the first thing I read is not a division, but a multiplication. So it's 7 times a half. So I am going to keep all of this part right here, which I'm not going to solve yet, right where it still is. I'm not going to move it. I'm going to keep it where it is. And I'm going to figure out what is 7, which is 7 over 1 times 1 over 2. So if I multiply my numerator, 7 times 1 is 7. And 1 times 2 is 2. So when I do my first part, I end up with 7 halves take away 2 divided by 3 fifths. Now, once I have that written, I am not going to do subtraction, but I am going to do 2 divided by 3 fifths. So I need to think about now, I'm going to push this down just a little bit. What is 2, which is, of course, 2 over 1, divided by, we don't do, we multiply by the reciprocal of 3 fifths, which is 5 over 3. And when we change 2 divided by 3 fifths to 2 over 1 multiplied by 5 over 3, we'll end up with 10 over 3 as an answer. So now we went from multiplication, that's solved. We went from division, that's solved. And now we have a subtraction left. And that's all we have left to do. So we're going to find our common denominator like we did in grade 7. And we're going to create our equivalent fractions, which we did in grade 5. And once we create these equivalent fractions, we end up with 21 sixths take away 26. And of course, what you learn to do is keep your denominator and, and the, subtract your numerators to give you a final answer of 1 6. So when we work that all out, we end up with the answer of 1 6 for the first question. For the second question, 3 over 2 divided by, in brackets, 1 half plus 1 quarter divided by 3 quarters, the first thing we're going to do, of course, is our brackets. Okay. So we're going to keep 3 over 2 as 3 over 2, and we're going to keep that division symbol because we're not going to do it yet. And we're going to keep this division symbol over here and the 3 quarters. And all we're going to do is we're going to figure out what is what is 1 half plus 1 quarter. So to add those together, you probably can do it in your head. You probably don't need to work, show the work here, but 1 half is really 2 quarters, and 2 quarters plus 1 quarter is 3 quarters. So when you simplify the brackets, you end up with... 3 halves divided by 3 quarters divided by 3 quarters. You end up with that instead. We have now just divisions left, and we're going to solve them as we read it from left to right. So keep your fraction, sorry, 3 over 2. Change the multiplication by the reciprocal. And if you can, cross-reduce, because that would be lovely. Because if you cross-reduce here, you get 3 over 3 is 1 over 1. 4 over 2 would be 2 over 1. But if you didn't cross-reduce, I'm going to tackle it as if we didn't cross-reduce. So I'm going to give that a 12 over 6 divided by 3 quarters. So this here simplifies down to be this. And I'm going to divide that all by 3 quarters. Keep the first fraction. Change the multiplication by the reciprocal. If you don't cross-reduce, you get 48 over 18. Because 20, 12 times 4 is 48. 6 times 3 is 18. And now you got to go and reduce this down to le lowest terms. That's 24 over 9. Uh, you can divide by 3 again. 8 over 3 is your answer, which, of course, is 2 and 2 thirds when you change that improper fraction to a mixed. And finally, your last question, 2 and a quarter 
take away a half, multiplied by in brackets three quarters, take away an eighth. The first thing I'm going to do, actually before, the first thing I do is brackets. So I'm going to write all of this stuff just down here. I'm going to keep everything down. But while I'm doing that movement, I'm going to change my mixed fraction to improper. So I'm just, as I'm rewriting everything, I'm just going to keep that as this. And now I'm going to solve what this actually works out to be. And 6 eighths take away 1 eighth is 5 eighths. So my next line, as I simplify it, will be this. Now I'm going to multiply. So 9 quarters take away 1 half times 5 eighths. Multiply your numerator. So 1 times 5 over 2 times 8. It's going to be 5 sixteenths. So when I multiply, I get 5 sixteenths. And now that I have that, find a common denominator of 16. I get 36 sixteenths, take away 5 sixteenths. Subtract your numerators and keep your denominator. I get 31 sixteenths, which is 1, and 15 sixteenths.